Hey guys, good morning. Here's morning. my friend Noni. She hasn't been on any of my vlogs. I'm joking. Anyway, here's. Um, so today we have like a BMW. I have my first time. BMW, whatever presentation. Guys, guys, I'm so. I never. Re I didn't realize how angry I was. I'm influenced. I am influenced. I want to buy a BMW. of studying medicine <laughs> you just to want to be done like you just want to you know what who's gift man who's nigga he gift he gift he has a gift to like yeah he gift it's, it's it. like, this is a real gift like this is this is a gift guys like guys you need to go to you need to be mad those of you that have money those of you Guys, I'm so tempted. I won't even lie to you. I won't even lie. Like, because I'm, I'm tempted. I'm, I'm very, I'm so stressed with myself. I shouldn't have come. I now should not have come. I should not have come. I should not have come. I should not I should not have come. Because Jamandila, everything has changed. Guys, my. Yeah. So, this is the X2 inside. Toby, with the sunroof, yeah. How's your experience? Yo, guys. Bachel, X2 is just, yeah, I've seen other cars here, but this one is. Guys, we decided to come to Signal Hill. Here we are. Look at the bag. It's so pretty. So yeah, we're so going to try and catch it tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be early. No, we will be early. Like, I promise you, like at five, we're going to be up here. Are I you sure, Helen? I'm, I'm serious. Like, I'm going to wake up at four to get ready for the whole day. <laughs> start the day. Uh, no, we started. It's so full no, here. Like, you like, oh my gosh, like, it's so full. Let's but I think it's like mostly no, like tours. No, listen. What are we going to do? We're but guys, Cape Town is a beautiful city. Farm, like, beautiful. Like, wow. Like I'm coming to so up. What I've made all my money. Helen's gonna wake up at six to tomorrow. I'm here to Helen. We're coming to live in Cape Town. Once we've yes, made we all are. our money, we are like literally gonna make so much money and then come live in Cape it's Town. Fine, I'll leave you guys. I'm going to Durban. Street, I'm a bit racist, I'm a street no, fan. They're probably gonna ask if you work here, like that's a, kind of like a thing. That would be so it problematic. It's so pretty. So, we're here to have lunch, yeah, and so Helen will do like some wine tasting. Oh, I'll just show you what it looks like. It looks so pretty. I get so awkward sometimes when I vlog like in front of people, <laughs> but it's so nice. Like, literally, this is what it looks like. And then there's like the those Stellenbosch mountains. So guys, as I was still saying, we're at this um, wine farm, Renaissance wine farm, I think, in um, Stellenbosch. It's so pretty here. They've got like a mini, they have like this, well it's not mini, they have a restaurant and literally like next to us is like a mini pond. It's so peaceful. And yeah, so that's what we're doing and that's... Literally their theme, not their theme, well they have like written like welcome to our what our piece of heaven on earth and I'm like it must be so so nice in this world that some people get to own such spaces. It's so beautiful, it's so delicious. But <laughs> let me stop being spicy and actually show you what the place actually looks like.
this is the food that we got. Yeah, <laughs> Wine tasting with what's this pizza for? What are you doing? What's on the menu? It's like four. It's four pizzas. It's I don't know. Four. It's all in one. It's like a. I don't know, it's like an all in one thing. Mm. So all in it looks delicious. Have you seen this, my friend? Yeah. It's stunning. Have you seen this? Ooh. Ooh. Guys. Land. Land. just started my orthopedics vlog and obviously I just applied a pop I don't know if you can see but my shoes literally have um, that pop material but very happy 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 I'm done for the day so I am going to go home well I'm going um, to the library to edit a video then I'm uploading it then I'm going home to study but guys I'm happy after careful consideration this is what i'm gonna do um wow well, i haven't even said the date anyway um it's sunday the 4th of november um we have literally i think like four weeks until we're done with med school three weeks until our pediatrics exams um i think we're right we're right not i think i know we're right <laughs> we're writing on the 23rd of november um, on the 23rd of November is pediatrics, so it's an MCQ, um, it's an OSCE and a portfolio exam. And then the Thursday, um, the 22nd, we're writing neonatology, so we'll be writing, um, I think it's like a neonatology OSCE exam, yeah, yeah. And then a week afterwards, a week after that one, year, the following week we'll be writing, we'll have our exit OSCE. Then after that, we'll have on, our, um, on Thursday, the 29th, we are going to have our obstetric OSPI, yes. And then the Friday, we're going to have our surgery, OSCE, and portfolio exam. I think actually speaking about them is making me even more anxious. But I'm not going to let that like take over my life. Um, 
oh, I actually came here to speak in Dichi Bawazin. I've decided I'm literally, I haven't showered. I'm going to go and shower now. Um, and then I'll come back and continue studying after showering. And like, I'm literally, I'm going to try my best and cover as much as I can. This is not like new content to me. I've covered this work before, you know. There's no reason for me to stress this much. Um, I am a hard worker and I am quite disciplined and I'm focused and God is with me and the Holy Spirit is helping me. So I will succeed, you know, like I just need to keep a positive mind, a positive attitude, you know, like, yes, I might be tired, I might be weak, but I am strong in the name of Jesus Christ, you know, like. Yeah, literally, I'm relying just on his strength because at the moment it's very deep. But I believe I will do it, um, even if it's slow. Um, even if my progress is slow, it's better than I think. It's better than me climbing into bed and just sleeping and then waking up with even more anxiety. So I think yeah, I just wanted to say that to anyone. That I'm sure most people are like um stressed at the moment. Yeah, but like just continue. Even like. In the midst of that anxiety, in the midst of all of that, just like pray, like guys, we need to continue praying. Like pray, 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 pray. Don't even stop. Pray, 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 pray. Like pray, 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 pray. Like I can't even emphasize this enough. Like pray, like honest to God. Like just pray, you know, like yeah. So let me go and shower, come back, uh, finish reading this chapter. It's quite a long chapter. Um, I'm actually reading up on portal hypertension, so I'm doing surgery, reading up on portal hypertension, but the chapter doesn't necessarily focus on portal hypertension. It focuses on like acute variceal bleeding and how to control that. Um, yeah, the, the different like um, treatment options for variceal bleeding. So yeah, guys, I do love surgery. I love surgery. I love anything surgical I like, but specifically orthopedics. Yeah. I'm actually feeling much better actually speaking about it and speaking to you guys. That's why I love vlogging so much because like it keeps me also like still motivated to do this and you know, yeah guys. But anyway, happy studying for everyone else. I'll see you guys. Update. So we were supposed, my um, study group mates and I were supposed to meet for a study group. Ne? Dugu dugu. Well, I think I'm not the only one who's been struggling to study. Well, I think I definitely know because like in the group, so we have a WhatsApp group. So in the WhatsApp group, we were like communicating with each other and everyone's like, yo, I couldn't see my, cause I was complaining, I was like, guys, I've been on one page for like the past hour, you know, and that's page, that's the first page, page number one. And then Zipe also like posts in the group, she's like, yo guys, I'm struggling, you know. Then Theo also posts. Obviously, Utandani was like, I'm not a problem, everything is fine with me. I'm like, but you relax, you know. But anyway, we decided to postpone that. Wow. Ooh, I'm so breathless. I'm actually unfit. Decided to postpone that. So, we're going to have our study group meeting on Tuesday now, okay? Whew, guys. Mm -mm, I'm not fit. Anywho, then, um, then what did we do? Then after that, um, I'm so confused. Oh yes, then after that, why am I so confused? What did we do afterwards? Oh yes, then so after showering, I then put up like I then um wore. Um. So hey guys, um, I'm currently at Midres. If you can see, I'm currently at the Midres um, study room. As you would have seen that I left at my place because I couldn't work there and then I came here. And as I was here, I was still feeling a bit demotivated, like lack of energy, you know. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like dreading studying. And then I was like, actually, like, um, so I love YouTube. I love being on YouTube. I feel like that's what I do. That's all I watch. But anyway, as I was on YouTube, like I saw... Um, a motivational page channel then I went to it and then I saw emotiv mo this motivational video like that has all these different people but Teta Uland was at Will Smith and he was talking about like self-discipline clean <laughs> self-discipline basically equaling to self-love and I was like actually the more I watched it 
um, the more I watch the motivational inter um, not interview, the more I watch the mo motivational video, the more like motivated and I was like, okay, let's do this, you know, the more focused I was. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. But um, when you're feeling tired or you're feeling unmotivated, like um, if it helps you, if it works for you, like it's working for me and it's definitely worked for me before, you know, like watch motivational um, videos or like, you know, listen to motivational um, speeches or motivational talks because they get you in that zone they get you in the mind of I can do this I will do this I was made to do this the reason that I'm here like it's not by mistake I'm going to be successful like I'm going to be great so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys like anything like do things that pump you up you know like look at challenges and smile look at challenges and be like I'm ready for you you know because you know you can overcome them you've overcome so many challenges before you've written exams before like this is not new and um, there's no reason to be scared there's no reason um yeah there's no reason to be scared like you can do it you can do it you have faith you trust you trust god number one you believe in yourself and you trust that you will study and you t trust that you will t you will retain everything that you've studied you know so there is no reason to be scared i know like um fear is not of god as um the bible says that um, God gave us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. And any time you fear, you're fearful, definitely know that that's from the devil and rebuke that because because he, what he's trying to do is he's trying to make you feel fearful to the point where you don't even like study. And when you don't study or when you're so scared, um, I'm speaking to students because I am a student at the moment, um, you, when you're feeling so scared, like you, the, the fear cripples you that you can't even work. And then that you're not working, like puts you into a vicious cycle where you can't even, um, you're not working, so now you're getting even more stressed and you're being more crippled, staying in bed more, you know, and things like that. And the further the further you are from your dreams, the further you are from achieving your goals. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Like I'm feeling so motivated. Like I'm literally doing um, my write-ups now as well. I'm doing my write-ups while I'm also like listening to these motivational um, interviews um, motivational videos like we're so close guys we're so close to the end of the year you're so close to your goals you're so close to your dreams pray look all i'm gonna say is do whatever you need to do to make sure that your mental health is intact that you're motivated and that you're studying and that you achieve your goals anyone you need to cut off who does not support your dreams you need to cut them off because i mean I don't know about you, but for me, my dreams and my goals are a priority in my life. Like, there are things I'm not willing to compromise on for anyone. So, y'all guys, um, yeah, I'm actually going to go for a jog at 6 o'clock. It's now 5.14. It's now 5.14. It's now 5 14. I'm going to go for a jog at 6 o'clock and then come back and continue. Then I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna go home later. But anyway, I hope studying is going well. Let's do this. We're almost done. To everyone who's writing matric exams, guys, Jongan, you will be fine. Like, just study. Put your best foot forward. Like, study. Give it your all. Do your best. Don't leave things for last minute. Like, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't encourage it. I discourage it. I'm all about um, starting early, preparing, like, yeah, don't leave things for last minute. Study, study, study. Do your best and pray. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you that you will do well. Yeah. Just dream, guys. But also, um, what did Denzel Washington say? He said, dreams without goals are just dreams and they fuel disappointment. So don't just have dreams, but have goals. Um, work towards your goals. Um, make plans you know our dreams obviously are like these big things like i want to be an orthopedic surgeon like and there's isn't designs that are in the future whatever but you must make there's your dream right there's your, your your dream but make plans that are going to get you to your dream don't just have a dream there people like i'm going to have this like nice house i'm going to live in camps bay for example but you know that's going to fuel disappointment have dreams definitely be like i'm going to get a distinction in this and then have goals um i love i love denzel washington's um motivational videos like have dreams but have goals and um have like what is like yearly goals monthly goals daily goals and i believe in that like every day make a list of things that you want to do things that you want to achieve for the day things that you want to achieve for the month 
and ultimately things that you want to achieve for the year, things you want to achieve in five years and things you want to achieve in 10 years. And gangling, gangling with those small plans, with those small goals, each and every day, you're getting closer and closer and closer to your dream. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about the future. So excited about my life. Yeah, guys, like we were made for greatness and we are going to achieve a lot of things by doing daily, achieving our daily goals. So have daily goals. The other thing, anyway, no, it's fine. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.